Tonight, Donald Trump becomes the first former US president to face a criminal prosecution. In entertainment, we'll catch up with the actor Taron Egerton about his new film, Tetris, the latest blockbuster to be filmed in Scotland. Plus, Sheila's here with all your sport. Yes, top flight football. Good evening and welcome to The Seven. I'm Laura Miller. It will be quite a moment. Donald Trump is expected to turn himself into, into authorities in New York next week after becoming the first former president to face criminal charges. It follows a five-year investigation by prosecutors into a hush money payment made to an adult film star in the run-up to the 2016 presidential election. Mr Trump denies having an affair with Stormy Daniels and has denounced the case as part of a witch hunt against him. New York court officials say he'll appear on Tuesday in Manhattan. The BBC's Washington correspondent Gary O'Donoghue reports. Was the BBC's Washington correspondent Gary O'Donoghue with that report? Well, let's get the thoughts now of Liz Landers, who's chief political correspondent at Vice News and is based in Washington. Welcome to the programme, Liz. Um, this news dropped overnight for us here in the UK. What has the reaction been in the States? Well, this is really concerning. He's going to hand himself into authorities in New York next week. Previously, when, when he did get wind of these charges, he warned of death and destruction if this were to happen. What do you think we can expect next week when he turns up to court? Well, you're right. He did say that, and he sort of tweeted and posted about that online. He also asked his followers to protest in support of him um, a two weeks ago when he initially kind of whipped everybody up into a How frenzy. do you think that this, beyond what happens next week, how do you think this whole thing is going to affect his run for the presidency then in 2024? I think that for him, this is fuel and motivation. Now, a court has heard that a dying woman who fell from Arthur's seat told the police officer who went to her aid that her husband had pushed her because she tried to end their relationship. Calf Chief Anwar from Yorkshire is on trial, accused of murdering his pregnant wife, Fozia Javid, and causing the death of their unborn child during a trip to Edinburgh in September 2021. He denies the charges against him. Stephen Gordon reports. To some of the day's other news now, and the new Scottish Cabinet have held their first formal meeting in Butte House. Now, it came into force back in September as a way of trying to help renters during the cost of living crisis. But housing charities are warning the Scottish Government's eviction ban is actually failing to protect people most at risk of homelessness, namely those living in social housing. Freedom of information requests by BBC Scotland reveal that during the ban, at least 125 people have been evicted. The Scottish Government says the ban has given tenants extra protection during the cost of living crisis. The chairman of Cricket Scotland has stepped down as a row continues over racism in the sport. And Jan Luthra promised to clean up the problem when he took on the role less than six months ago. Mr Luthra said he fundamentally disagreed with how Sports Scotland was operating the sport. Ian McInnes reports. OK, let's stick with sport now. Here's Sheila. Hello. Thanks, Laura. Yes, lots to get through tonight. And tonight, after, after this programme, it's our broth against Air United in the Championship. Lots to look forward to. Yeah, good stuff. I think you had all the sports in there tonight. Sure did. Shame to please. <laughs> OK, it is a case which has gripped Hollywood watchers and social media users in equal measure. Now, after two weeks in court, the actress Gwyneth Paltrow has won her case. She'd been accused by 76-year-old Terry Sanderson of crashing into him on a ski slope in 2016, and he was suing her for nearly a quarter of a million pounds. In the end, the jury in Utah decided that he was to blame for the crash. Sophie Long reports. Now, if you're looking for something to watch this weekend, well, Tetris, one of the biggest and most addictive computer games of the 80s, has now had the Hollywood treatment. Tetris the movie is released today on Apple TV. It stars Taron Edgerton and was shot entirely in Scotland using locations in Aberdeen and Glasgow and was directed by Aberdeen-born John S. Baird. Our entertainment reporter David Farrell has more. Well, I hope it's not greyness in abundance this weekend. Here's Judith with the weather. Good evening. It really has been rather gloomy for the East Coast today and with all that gloom going on, temperatures were repressed. We saw 6 Celsius for parts of the East Coast, but come further west in the sunshine, we topped 16 degrees at Kinloch Hughes. So as far as the weekend's concerned, high pressure starts to build in from the north and that'll push a lot of that cloud away. This wee weather front just grazing the west coast, bringing a wee bit of rain perhaps to the Outer Hebrides. Tonight we still have a bank of cloud in the east, producing some bits and pieces of rain or drizzle. It looks like we should see some 
something clearer coming into Shetland and the far north later tonight and the clearer skies will be found across the west. Overnight lows generally around about 5, 6 Celsius under the clear skies in the north that wee bit lower. Into tomorrow, a fair amount of a cloud around first thing for eastern Scotland, some of that pushing further west as well. But some sunny spells for the Northern Isles extending into Caithness as well. Some early sunshine in the west, but you can see this weather front just grazing the very far west, bringing thicker cloud to the US and Barra and maybe the odd spot of rain during the afternoon. Temperature-wise, around about 11, 12 Celsius. It'll feel a wee bit cooler. Then, as we head into Sunday, we'll start to see more in the way of sunshine developing across eastern Scotland. We finally lose that gloomy low cloud, and the south will see sunny spells as well. Up towards the northwest, we have the dying embers off that weather front, bringing thicker cloud, and that will extend into the northern Isles as we head through the course of the day. Still feeling cooler than we've seen off late with highs of 10 to 12 Celsius, but winds remain light. That's your forecast. And that is all from us for tonight. The football is up next and the teams will be here throughout the weekend to keep you up to date. In the meantime, from all of us here, enjoy your evening. Good night.